I always knew going into business school that I wanted to solve real world problems plaguing developing economies. During one of my travels in India, the filth and squalor deeply disturbed me. However, I realized that something amazing was happening underneath. India was recovering and recycling almost double that of any developing or developed economy in the world. But yet, the benefits of such a system were not being felt. I wanted to solve all this and I wanted to build an organization that would fundamentally transform the way India saw recycling and plastics. This is how my journey from Silicon Valley to the back alleys of Hyderabad began. If you look at what Mani and Raj are doing, having given up what could have been otherwise extremely, I'm sure, profitable careers, is to have built a technologically driven, technologically innovative organization. I think it behooves us to back these two youngsters to develop something which actually could be hugely scaled up. And that is something that we need as a country desperately. Recycling activities in India are driven by market forces that are informal, illegal, and largely invisible. Millions of rat pickers today scavenge the street corner bins and the landfills, collecting valuable materials, who then sell to the kabadiwalas, who then sell to the back-end aggregators, who finally sell to the recyclers. The goal of such an industry, really, is to recover the materials at the lowest possible cost and at any cost. We started off by first tackling plastics. If you think about it, plastics is perhaps the most versatile inventions of our time. But the single-use nature of plastic means it has become an ecological and environmental poison. A lot of the plastic ends up in landfills and is never used again. Whatever plastic that is recycled is recycled in a very rudimentary manner. Back end recyclers bite, bend, and burn plastic in order to identify the resin and grade of the plastic, forcing producers at the end of the value chain to depend on hundreds of such recyclers for consistent quality recycling. The need of the hour right now is a formal recycling system which ensures a superior quality and the ability to recycle the material that has entered the system more than once. To do that, we've started off by building a very simple app in Hyderabad where we mapped over 1,500 stationary recyclers. This data gave us a bird's eye view of the city of Hyderabad. Data such as the amount of waste coming out of your house. Data on local efficiencies of collection and transportation of waste. At Banyan, we have used mechanical and thermal testing techniques in order to produce a high-quality recyclate that rivals virgin plastic. When the product re-enters the waste value chain, its ability to be recycled increases by a factor of three. Today, we've established a proof of concept. We've integrated the supply chain. We're producing some world-class granules, uh, the plastic pellets that brands could use. We can scale not only across cities, but also I think we have the potential to scale across verticals. Now, I'm truly excited uh, for where we are heading as a company and I look forward to continuing this amazing work and actually truly changing the way India recycles, thinks about plastic and waste management.